should meet up with our informant, Yakiro, first. He lives in the building with a round along his wall. How dare you follow me home? Oh, never mind. Agent Ingram, I resumed. In the flesh, I've been informed that you can help us with the Shinjin investigation. Help would imply that I actually wished to stick my hands in your mess. I assume that you will call this a business transaction instead. Sure, that'll work. Here's probably the most important tip for you. Don't mess with the triads. They've been exceptionally agitated ever since someone had the bright idea to announce links between the triads and terrorism on TV. So don't expect to turn any heads with that unatical crap. It's my job to investigate any possible links between the triads and the terrorist attacks. Besides, it would be beneficial for everyone to find out who's been trying to pit the triads and the authorities against each other. That's not a bad approach. But keep in mind that they won't take kindly to a foreign agent. Also keep in mind that they already know you're in the city. In fact, the Red Arrow Triad has a major hangout right across the street. It's just walking distance away. Clever. You actually have a pretty good lead for starters. So I think you should follow that. But the MPS is paying me a nice sum of money to give you information. So ask away. The Red Arrow and the Luminous Path Triads have this area in their pockets. The mole leads you to the most prestigious club in the area, Furuchi Nightclub. The guy who runs it, a Filipino kingling named David Jown, is currently under the Luminous Path's protection. I'll go out on a limb and guess that he's not involved in legal business either. Oh, what tipped you off? Joan might actually be able to help you. He's well aware of whatever international trade might be going on in the city. The entrance to the underground mall constitutes as a land border between the triads, but most of their fighting occurs on the ground. The police won't do anything to him? I'm guessing the NPS didn't tell you that the triads engage in very profitable bribery. The word is that Robert Chen is related to the leader of the Red Arrow, but no one's been able to confirm it. They say Director Bob even has a birthmark that looks suspiciously like a tattoo. Let's turn the page here. I've got the impression that the police and the MPS aren't in good terms with each other. Hell, the cops are in better terms with the triads. Why do you think you'd travel through a tunnel directly connected to my junkyard, straight under the weary eyes of the Red Arrow Cafe? Point taken. For decades, the Chinese left Hong Kong alone. They knew how to hold barricades on the roads to control trade to the mainland. But even before Shenzhen, they started to change the rules of the game. The MPS opened their offices and started cooperating with the police. Of course, they could be bought as well. So you think Shenzhen was a government setup? I certainly don't know why anyone would go through with such a far-fetched plan. Not to mention, for what purpose? 
A lot of people think it was a government job, but you should know how they like to take stances like that. I guess I'll just add that to the list of things I need to find out during my mission here. Here, maybe this map will be of some use to you. Oh, and if you decide to head off to Forichi, you better have a lot of cash on you in order to get in. Sounds like a setup for an alternative entrance. You're in a bit of a hard position here, Agent. You can't avoid getting noticed anywhere in the city, and the current territorial schisms take place underground. Sure, you can stay out of sight for a while, but you'll need to pay attention to any possible traps. But of course, any particular routes I could use for my advantage? As I said before, both of the triads already know you're here. Regular pedestrian paths are of course free for everyone, and you must act with a regular caution there. But taking triad side routes will get you into trouble unless you manage to keep it low. I've outsourced my merchandise for sale to a trusty protege of mine. His name is Jin, and you can find him offset the burger place around the corner. Thanks for the tip. I'll wait here. If I'm not in this office, use that red telephone to contact me. Talk to your customers like that. Hey, you Nosco man, don't you judge me. I can do the same, you know. Don't tell me you're going to wear those sunglasses during a night operation. Yes, I finally got to use that one. I didn't mean to offend you. I guess you have to relieve your boredom even in a city like this. I try. Oh, how I try. The bomb. This is the entrance to your hideout? Currently, we have no work for American-style gangsters. I guess Inako is always a career option then. Enough! Go!
Sorry for the disturbance. I'm Agent Mad Ingram from Unaco, and I've been hired by the MPS to investigate the Shenzhen incident. You? You're the American? No, there's no way they could have sent you here. You must be on Yun's payroll. Relax, Officer Feng. No need to be nervous. Don't try to stop me. Huh? <laughs> 